Good day to you. My name is Engineer David Olumuyo Alonge, the Africa Regional Representative of the Rosenta Group LLC USA and the Chief Project Facilitator for the, for the Bullion Bank of Africa to ensure that the Bullion Bank of Africa is established in the 54 countries of Africa. My job here is to introduce to you the Rosenta Group LLC USA and the Bullion Bank of Africa and the synergy between these two organizations in ensuring the sustainable development of Africa for Africa and um, by Africans. Follow me through to the end of this broadcast and you will be able to understand fully the entire concept and model of the Bullion Bank of Africa. Thank you for joining me. Our vision with the Bullion Bank of Africa is to be the one-stop sustainable development solutions for 54 countries of Africa and bring Africa to a state of sustainable prosperity, financial independence and self-reliance by unnecessing the power of our precious metals by the year 2030. What does this mean? The Bullion Bank of Africa, in summary, is a strategic investment bank that trades precious metals and wants to retain the wealth of Af the precious metal wealth of Africa within Africa for Africans to use it as a precious metal backed, gold backed, diamond backed collateral to assess funds for sustainable accelerated development of any kind of projects for the good of the African people. This is our vision. For years, centuries, Africa has been looted of our precious metals and to enrich the first world, as they call them, the second world, if there is anything like that. Well, Africa is the richest continent in the world, but Africans are being looted. And the entire concept and the brains behind the Bullion Bank of Africa is to ensure that the wealth, the precious metal wealth of Africa is retained in Africa to be used by Africans for the good of Africa to develop Africa in an accelerated manner. What is the vision of BBA? Our vision includes the following. We are here to educate Africa on a precious metal reserve and the power of this precious metal in the global market. We are here to ensure that we build the bullion bank branches across the 54 countries of Africa. We want, we want to operate the bank to create sustainable wealth for Africans. We want to use the gold reserve, the diamond reserve, platinum reserve, crude oil reserve, and other precious metals and precious minerals as collateral to finance development projects across Africa in all sectors using the Rosenta Group skills, experiences, and um, where we are. We are here to also make sure that Africa becomes self-reliance. We want to prosper Africa and the Africans. We want to establish Africa Metal Exchange. That's significant. We want to ensure strategically industrialized Africa, partnering with the locals and empowering the locals. We want to ensure that we foster uh, ESG and develop gold, diamond, other precious min minerals, precious metals, mines across Africa. 
We want to ensure accelerating the pride of Africans by Africans. Who are the brains behind this? It's important for me to introduce to you the visionary, the man Robert Rosenta. He's a man of many diversified experience and wealth of knowledge. He has been there in the commodity trading, gold meta trading industry. He has been privileged um, as a member of the Business Advisory Council in the U.S. Is, is the CEO, the group CEO of the Robert Rosenta Group and the Bullion Bank of Africa. This man is also a board member of the American Bank Board of Directors. Um, he is a member of the Presidential Business Commission. He is also a member of the Chamber of Commerce VIX Bag in Mississippi and many more that we can talk about. Let me allow Ms. Dr. Robert Rosenta to be able to give you a brief of his vision purpose with TRG and BBA. Over to you, Mr. Robert. I'm Robert Rosenthal, President and CEO of the Rosenthal Group, the Bullion Bank of Africa. I'm extremely proud to be working with engineer David Long from Zambia in establishing the Bullion Bank of Africa across the entire continent of Africa. The concept of the Bullion Bank originated for a need to have a systematic, comprehensive way of generating income for large-scale projects, sovereign wealth funds, and creating finance and loans that didn't end in atrocities or debt traps or adverse actions among the economy of African countries. I'm very grateful and thankful to African Americans and African financial experts from around the world to come together from IMF, from World Bank, from African Union, from the European Union, from the United Nations, and putting together the concept of the Bullion Bank. We are also grateful to Goldman Sachs and other security companies who are working with us. We are extremely happy to be working with Credit Suisse, HSBC Hong Kong, HSBC London, Lloyds of London, the Bank of England, Santania Bank in Spain, and Deutsche Bank in Germany, as well as other banks and security companies from Hong Kong and other countries around the world. We can take gold as an asset, put it in leveraging program, and generate the monies that's needed for large scale projects without creating debt traps. We can do sovereign guarantees. We, we don't need sovereign guarantees once we use our process. We're so thankful to governors of central banks, presidents of African countries, ministers of finance, and all of the financial experts, the people on Wall Street for working with us in establishing the Bullion Bank of Africa. We are highly thankful to our brothers in Ivory Coast, uh, in Paris, in London, in Hong Kong, in other countries who are working to make the Bullion Bank a reality. We are also thankful to you and everyone who is supporting the Bullion Bank of Africa. May God bless you and we continue to make Africa rise to where it should be. If Africa have more gold than anybody else in the world, why shouldn't the world's largest financial center be located in Africa? Those of us with the Bullion Bank know that we can do this and we thank you for your support. May God bless you. Today, Africa has over 40 different currencies. There's no clearinghouse in Africa that can take the monies from Zambia and trade that money with money from Egypt or do exchange with the money from Namibia, South Africa, or any of the other African countries. But the Bullion Bank of Africa has a clearinghouse 
that can trade the monies without paying large sums of monies to correspondent banks to do what African banks should have been doing all the while. We're very thankful to the central banks who are working with us to achieve these objectives. You will get to meet Robert Rosenta in subsequent broadcast. He will be able to also speak to you in subsequent broadcast. He was uh, a former banker. He works in the U.S. defense. He was an attaché to the G7 for several years. And he, operate, he operated in other key government and corporate employments in various capacity. And so he, as a Pan-Africanist, is a Black American Pan-Africanist passionate to ensure that Africans are able to understand the power of what we have and utilize it for our own good. So Robert is pioneering and sponsoring the establishment of the Bullion Bank of Africa across Africa. And he's not alone in this project. He has brought on board a board of a notable men and women to be part of the advisory board. He is one of the members of the advisory board, Robert Rosentha himself, and then we have Dr. Arikana Chiombori Huel. That name rings bell. All right, and we have Professor PLO Lumumba. If you are a Pan Africanist, these names are not strange to you. We have a Majesty, Baroness Dr. Uba Umunwa in Ghana. And um, she is a philanthropist, she's an author, and quite a number of other things. Dr. Kwado Okwere, a Fajor second degree connections, second founder and chairman of Africa Diaspora Region, Economic Community Foundation, that is renamed as The Voice. These are the members of the Board of Advisory of the Bullion Bank of Africa, put together by Robert himself to ensure that he is well guided on how to run the show Bullion Bank in Africa. I'd like you to watch Professor Pierre Lumumba as he put a seal on BBA operational model. Thank you. It used to be, think, to be said that we should think out of the box. I'm submitting to us the time has come that we must think without the box. <laughs> we must throw away the box and begin thinking because we do not know who brought this box. <laughs> the minerals that we have, can we not add value? The borders that we have, but I said in the morning and I'll repeat it again. Why? When I want to come to Namibia, must I ask, do I need a visa? Why? Why do I need a visa? Why do I need a visa to go to Liberia? Why do I need a visa to go to Ghana? Why can't I wake up in Nairobi in the morning and come to Vinhook here just to see Vinhook? Because an American in Boston, Massachusetts can wake up in the morning, fly six hours, and he's only grappling with one currency, the dollar. Look at your Africa. <laughs> then you delude yourself that you can grow. How can you grow? <laughs> when you have a population of 1.2 billion people and none of our currencies is called hard currency. Not one. Not one. I have Kenya shillings in my briefcase. Until I am back in Nairobi, it is useless. <laughs> I'll carry a souvenir of one Namibian dollar to beef up and enrich my money collection, but it will be useless. Can we not think of having a currency that has validity initially across the Sadat? and one across East African community, and one across Central Africa, and one across ECOWAS, and another one in the Maghreb, so that in 2050 or 2063, we have one currency called the Afro. <laughs> Is it not possible? Is it beyond our imagination? Particularly the young people who are here, when we are talking about Agenda 2063, is it not possible? 
Is it not something that we can imagine? I'm submitting to us that it can be done. I'm submitting to us that we must begin to work at it. Let me clarify the purpose of the Bullion Bank. The concept of the Bullion Bank of Africa was developed by the THRG, the Rosenta Group, and, and selected employee from Goldman Sachs, World Bank, IMF, United Nations, and the African Union in 2017. And interestingly, there was a demonstration in Angola of a precious metal bank in 2017. The need for a BBA was created to provide solutions for such problems as Africa corresponding banking, international banking, commodities trading, stabilizing currencies, establishing sovereign wealth fund, currency exchange, banking clearinghouse, debt reductions, economic development, and project funding. If you are in the corporate finance world, you will be able to appreciate the benefits and the power of uh, BBA coming on board to be able to have a gold or precious metal backed currency in Africa countries to be able to assess um, unlimited finance for sustainable development of our continent. The Bullion Bank of Africa is well designed to solve the above problems uh, that I've mentioned and to generate wealth for generations to come, leading to self-sufficiency and financial independence for the 54 countries in Africa. The Bullion Bank of Africa will be using all the resources at her disposal, both human and mineral resources, to build societies for the common good. Bullion Bank of Africa, in any country that we are going to establish it, will be specialized in the trading of natural resources into social economic development projects, such as development of ports, highways, railways, schools, laboratories, hospitals, processing plants, industrial projects such as petrochemical plants, refineries, industrial parks, manufacturing, etc., and service delivery institute. So the Bullion Bank of Africa is going to be a strategic weapon to ensure an industrialized Africa. The Bullion Bank of Africa will provide financial solutions for many of the international African trade problems. Meanwhile, the trade agreement presently is depending upon corresponding banks for large-scale financial transactions and international banking instruments, such as bonds, SWIFT system, and other financial transactions that is needed in the international financial sectors. What that means is that with the establishment of the Bullion Bank of Africa in Nigeria, in Zambia, in Syria alone, in Ivory Coast, the Bullion Bank of Africa is going to ensure that international financing and international trading becomes very easy and we are able to assess funds locally. The Bullion Bank of Africa will come up with a commodity exchange that can provide comprehensive and strategic management of these resources. And our operational programs are very simple. Uh, BBA converts gold into bullion of 99.99% pure gold as required by the London Bullion Market Association, LBME. Gold, of course, is considered as a global money, monetary asset and traded in the spot market. The gold standard was a system under which nearly all countries fixed the value of their currencies in terms of a specialized, uh, specified amount of gold. And this is what Bullion Bank of Africa wants to do across Africa so that our currencies are backed with precious metal. And this is a game changer for us. Details on this as we proceed. Next, let me take you to Angola in 2017, where Dr. Robert Rosenta was representing um, the BBA during the inauguration of Natural Bank, a demonstration of Bullion Bank of Africa in the country Angola.
watch the arrival of Dr. Robert as he has been welcomed by dignitaries in Angola in 2017. Here's Dr. Robert in the picture. And then we got Dr. Robert here again. You can see him based on the previous picture you should see. This was the inauguration ceremony. Oh. Dr. Robert entering into the bank and um, other dignities arriving. Here again is Dr. Robert in the picture and with the other delegates at the inner doors. And that was the official unveiling of the natural bank. So, open for operation in the 20th century. The robot again there, uh, cutting the tape alongside the big matrix. The Bullion Bank of Africa objective is um, for us to purchase, store, and invest the precious metal. We are never going to sell them. We are going to put them in reserve. Instead, we create a program, a package, and services that attract gold sellers, precious metal sellers, and producers to deposit in our bank using the profit to buy additional precious metal in gold, diamond, and precious minerals, whilst creating sustainable wealth for our individual countries, corporate organizations, and even governments. This is called investment banking, private placement program, etc. BBA objective is to emerge and grow as a financial leader in creating trade, high yield profits, control large gold deposits, and participate in competitive economic development worldwide through the platform of the Rosenta Group. Further on clarifying the objectives of BBA, the gold is placed in a top rank bank or central bank of the country in Africa for safekeeping receipt, SKR, used in the same manner as sovereign guarantees, standby letter of credit, bank guarantees, cash or gold bonds, or create credit lines for trading and leveraging programs to generate revenue and financial transaction. The gold will never be at any risk at no point in this operation. The Bullion Bank of Africa in any country in Africa can then use the gold as collateral to generate revenue in the international finance arena for social and economic development projects without corresponding banks or outside helps from, you know, the sources from which Africa always run to to source money. You wouldn't need this anymore. Because the Bullion Bank is established in your country, you can assess any finance directly from without the intermediaries and you will have more than enough for the development, developmental program and projects 
of your country. This is wonderful. Africa has different fiat currencies and there is no clearing house for all the currencies in Africa. There are 54 different currencies in Africa and the African Trade Agreement cannot conduct currency exchange and we pay billions in unnecessary fees for banking services through these intermediaries from correspondent banks in the US, Europe, Asia, for any kind of medium or large financial share transactions and banking instrument that, that we want to assess. But with the establishment of the Bullion Bank of Africa in our country, we will be able by the Bullion Bank of Africa to provide financial resources for African countries without intermediaries. Further on in our objective again, BPA will demonstrate how good and other natural resources can be used as collaterals to generate line of credits and sovereign funds to create programs for financing infrastructure projects without increasing public debt. If there is any country that's already having an external debt, within two years, maximally, we believe that with the establishment of the Bullion Bank of Africa in your country, in Africa, you will be able to pay back all the external debts. What are then the requirements of establishing the Bullion Bank of Africa in your country in Africa? in Ghana, in Burkina Faso, Morocco, Algeria, Egypt, Mali, Guinea-Bissau, Tanzania, DR Congo, Mozambique, Zambia, Nigeria, and all the countries in Africa. What are the requirements to establish the Bullion Bank of Africa in your country? Let's get down to this. Very simple, very straightforward. The fundamental standardized requirement is 2,500 kilograms of gold, which you already have. How does this work? The Rosenta Group and the BBA Group Management have come up with a concept and a model and strategy that if you are able to raise 2,500 kilograms of gold, in your country, or the equivalent amount of about 125 million US dollars, then it is guaranteed that the Bullion Bank of Africa can then be established in your country. And I know in each country of Africa where you have this precious metal being legally and illegally mined, we are able to source and organize this amount of gold for the establishment of the Bullion Bank of Africa. What, I, what do I mean by legally mined? There are licensed and legitimate operational mines, and there are illegal mines, and there are people who are illegally extorting Africa. That is what I mean by illegal mine. All right? And we have quite a number of the small-scale miners who are mining gold. Some of them are organized, some of them are not organized. I remember when I did a research on um, small-scale mining as a panacea for poverty reduction in Africa, and I used Nigeria as a case study. One of the recommendations in my uh, research was that the so-called disorganized or illegal miners can be legalized by organizing them. So the Bullion Bank of Africa is going to provide that platform wherein this is going to happen. So I'm speaking to those investors in each country. I'm speaking to the Chamber of Commerce and Industries in each country. I'm speaking to the members of the business community that either you come as an individual or as an organization, as a corporate entity, to contribute towards becoming an equity partner in Bullion Bank of Africa. The thing here is, 
The beauty of the Bullion Bank of Africa is that it has to be owned by the members of the indigenous country. We do not expect people from Tanzania to come and own the Bullion Bank in Ghana. Ghanaians must be able to have the largest share in the Bullion Bank. If we are establishing, if we are establishing the Bullion Bank in Ivory Coast, the largest shareholder must be people from Ivory Coast, business people from Ivory Coast, investors from Ivory Coast. As soon as we are able to have that guarantee of 2,500 kilograms of gold or 125 million US dollars being made available by indigenous investors, that is the guarantee that we are going to establish the Bullion Bank of Africa in that country. In a situation whereby we are not able to get up to 2,500 kilograms of gold, for inherent reasons or indigenous reasons, we are going to ensure that the, the, the Rosenta group is going to take care of about 1,500 kilograms of the gold and indigenous investors can then put together 1,000 kilograms of gold. The Bullion Bank has to be co-owned by the Rosenta group and the indigenous investors and that includes you. And I'm throwing a challenge to you, listening to me, if you are from any part of Africa, that you take up this challenge and ensure that you partake of becoming a shareholder in the Bullion Bank of Africa. So this is to create wealth for you and generations yet to come. BBA will act as a private bank, but the government in joint venture sometimes, if the government is going to be the partner, we will not need a government. In actual fact, we desire that the business community or an individual become the chief project for, um, um, shareholders, um, investors in the Bullion Bank, to own this bank together with BBA and TRG. And so private investors are welcomed with their respective maybe pension funds, hedge funds, etc. I believe strategic organization, fund managers can take advantage of this in any part of Africa. So BBA will be providing uh, funding and technical assistance for the government and private sector project as well as economic development program. Thank you.